Hi, Jade. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good. Uh, I want to show you something a little bit. Now, maybe a little bit before I, I showed you how to use the multiplication finger chart. Up here is the multiplicand, and here is the multiplier. So let's say if I had a uh, multiplication problem like 6 times 4. My first multiplier, 6. Second one is 4. And I move to where my fingers meet, and that answer is 24. 24. Uh, can you figure out 4 times 3? Okay, so that's your first multiplier, multiplicand, 4 times 3 is 12. 12, yes. So you know how to use this. You know how to use this. Well. This is what we're going to do. There's another chart that you can use. And we call this the bingo chart. And it's a special bingo chart because it works with our multipli multiplication facts, right? And I have some tiles set out here. And what I'd like to do, maybe I'm going to flip this over just for the moment. And we're going to try to review our multiplication facts with the two table. And I have all these tiles here for you to look at. I kind of mixed it up a little bit. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go in order. Okay. One taken two times is two. All right. We're going to take two taken two times and we're gonna go down a column right here. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So two taken two times. What tile should be there? Four. Can you find the four? Very good. Two taken three times. Six. Six. Two taken four times. Eight. Please keep on going. Two taken five times. Ten. Two taken six times. Twelve. Twelve. Two taken seven times. Fourteen. Fourteen. Two taken ten times. Twenty. Twenty. All right. So that's how you would do it uh, if you were going down the row. And then you would use this board to check. Now you'll notice here that your answers are correct. See? Four. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look for a tile. How about this answer tile? What possibilities? Where could this tile go? What equals 90? Using any of these numbers as a multiplicand and these as a multiplier. Uh, so you tell me, you think about it, what could equal 90? Okay, so what is that multiplication problem? 9 times 10. On the, on the, 10 on, times 10. 10 times 9, because this is the multiplicand, this is the multiplier. So 10 times 9, so where are your fingers going to meet? That's right, so that's where the 90 goes. All right, let me find another one. Let's see. How about 18? Think about some possibilities. So what is that multiplication problem? 2 times 9. I mean, 9 times 2. 
nine times two. Yes, nine times two is 18. So move your finger right there because this is where it meets. Want to try one more? I thought this is where it meets. Nine times oh. two. Okay. Yeah. Sort of like a game board, isn't it? Well, no wonder. We call this a bingo game. All right. Let's see if I can find one more. Oh, 35. What do you think? If it ends in a five, what column do you think it will be in? Right. So, do you know how to skip count by five? Let's do this. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh! Stop right here. Five times seven. Five times seven is thirty-five. And you can even check it. Right over here, see? There's your thirty-five. There's your eighteen. There's your ninety. Okay, keep on going. Um and uh show me after you put another another five tiles down.